Um, hey everyone, welcome back to the Sedated Dev channel. Um, in my last video, we set up Sentry to monitor crashes uh, in our React Native app. Um, if you haven't checked that out yet, I recommend watching it first. I'll link it up in the I button. Uh, while Sentry can track both JavaScript and native errors out of the box, there's one catch. Um, if a crash happens before Sentry is initialized in the JS layer, it won't get tracked. Um, in today's video, I'll show you how to initialize Sentry natively, capture those early crashes on both iOS and Android. So let's jump right in. Um, if we go to Sentry's documentation for React Native um, and select native initialization, you can read about it right here. Um, I'll show uh, a demo first um, by throwing a native error um, before Sentry is initialized. Um, so for that, I'll go to the main application file inside our Android directory. Uh, in here, inside the onCreate method, I'll manually raise an X section like this. Um, and then uh, I'll build and run um, the app. Um, as you can see, the app crashed on um, startup because of the manual error. Um, now, if I go to Sentry Dashboard and reload the issues page, uh, the error won't be visible here as Sentry is, it was not initialized before the crash. Um, so let's start with our native initialization of Sentry. Um, uh, first step is to disable auto initialize native SDK in the JS layer. Uh, for that, we'll copy this and go to our root app file and paste it right here. Um, next, we have to follow the uh, manual initialization docs of Sentry for individual platform. Uh, first, we'll do it for Android. Um, so we can skip all these stuff um, and come to the bottom of the page. Um, inside the Android configuration section, we have this link to follow manual initialization guide. Click on it. We can, again, skip all these steps as um, Sentry SDK is already packaged with um, React Native SDK. And then copy this code to initialize Sentry. Since my uh, main application file is in Kotlin, um, I have Kotlin selected here as the language and then go to your main application file uh, and paste the code right after the onCreate method is called. And I will remove this piece of code. We don't need it right now. And then I will copy the import statement and paste it in our main application file. Save the file and that's it. Um, now let's build and run our, our app again. Uh, all right, the app crashed on start as expected. Um, let's go to Sentry Dashboard again and reload the page. Um, the crash is not yet logged. Let's reload again. Um, as you can see, uh, the crash is logged. Let's check it out. Um, you can check out all the, the crash details here. Uh, now that's how you initialize Sentry natively in Android. Uh, now let's do the same for iOS. Uh, I have the iOS app running here. I'll first manually raise a native error uh, before app start. Um, for that, let's go to app delegate files. And then I'll add the code to throw error right here. Uh, now let's build and run the app. Um, once again, the app crashes on start as expected. Um, now let's check our Sentry dashboard. Um, go to issues and reload the page. 
and uh, this crash is not logged, so let's fix it. Um, let's go to Sentry documentation and go back to native initialization section. Um, this time we'll follow the link to set up native initialization in iOS. Uh, come down, select Objective C. And I'll copy this code to initialize Sentry. And paste it right here inside application. Uh, did finish launching with options. Um, and then import Sentry like this. And now let's uh, build and run the app again. Um, that's the crash. Uh, so let's go to our Sentry dashboard and reload the issues page. Uh, once again, um, we can see the error from iOS uh, got logged as expected. Uh, if we we click on it, we can see all the, the details regarding the crash here, and that's it. By initializing Sentry natively, we've ensured that even crashes occurring before the JavaScript code runs are captured. Uh, this gives you full visibility into both native and JavaScript errors uh, throughout the entire app lifecycle. Um, I'll try to come up with more such useful videos. Um, if you guys want to see something specific, do let me know in the comments. Um, if you like the content, then do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Uh, it will motivate me to keep making better videos. Uh, thanks for tuning in. See you guys in my next video.